go. It's early, but yeah. this is a state of the defense. Is it progressing in your mind? It is progressing. Um, you know, it's the NFL, so they're not going to wait for us. So, you know, we're working hard to get better in areas that we're not playing well in right now. Um, and that was the emphasis we've had all week. And it really comes down to us just really playing together as a unit. You know, for us as coaches, just making sure we're game planning, putting the guys in, in the position they need, need to be in to make plays. So we're going through that process. Um, it looks good at times, and at times we know there's things we need to fix. Is it where you thought it would be at this point, Joe, or is it not? You know what? I, I really couldn't answer that because with everything going on with the offseason and training camp, you know, we just have two games under our belt. So anywhere I've been, there's always things you're looking to clean up. Uh, I think the guys understand the scheme. And again, it's just a little bit of inconsistency with what we're doing. Is third down a big issue with you personally? Yeah, you know, it's the third down uh, when they had the long, I think it was 17 play drive, was really disappointing. I think we had five third down opportunities to get off. And you look at each one of them, you know, if we play a little bit better, we're off the field. You know, especially the first one, and then all the other four ones don't happen. But uh, it's, it's what happened. It's on tape. We got to fix it. The, uh, a lot of conversation from some of your guys this week is about marrying the rush and the coverage. The, yeah. Some downs you're getting the, the good rush, the coverage yeah. is in there, and then you know vice versa on some others. So just from your perspective, when you're going back and you're mm -hmm. dissecting and grading stuff right. out, just what's missing in that regard, and how do you get those two to really come together the way you want? It's consistency, you know, just like you said. It's sometimes if the rush is there, you look and the coverage is not there. And sometimes you look, the coverage is there and the rush isn't there. So it just seemed like it was, a, you know, like a different thing every time when I looked at it. And I just watched the, the whole tape again this morning, and that's exactly what I saw. Just going through color coding, is it more the rush, is it more the coverage? And when you look at it overall, it's a little bit of everything, including me making a couple of better calls. Are you, do you have a, I mean, when there's a rookie quarterback, like a rookie mm -hmm. quarterback comes into the game, do you, does, does your mind say, oh, we should blitz the heck out of it? I mean, I'm just wondering what yeah. goes through your mind because you're facing another rookie this week. It is in general. Um, there were a few things we were doing that we were a little bit off on, so I just wanted to calm it down. They were moving the ball on us early, and I said, let me calm it down, pull back, because, you know, I was doing some things we game plan. And uh, once I felt like we weren't executing it at a high level, then I just, pulled it down a little bit just to let the guys calm down and play. But when he got in, I thought the same thing. We went to the third quarter. We got off two, three and outs would work. But that one drive just kept coming and coming and coming. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, uh, at times, you want, you want to get after, you know, guys that are backups, mm -hmm. you know. Joe, with your front four, um, did it get enough pressure last week? I mean, Miles, yeah. I mean, you drew the one hold, but I don't think you had any other hits or pressures. I mean, do you need more out of those front four, especially – if you're not going to blitz a ton? Yeah, um, you know, there's, there's going to be a combination of blitz and coverage. I like to mix the two, whether it's man pressure, zone pressure, uh, with just playing zones. I think up front we had pressure, but it just didn't marry up. Like we were off somewhere and they found it. You know, or again, if we were tight, then uh, maybe they chipped us and we couldn't get home. So I think it's just patching it all together, just getting it clean, executing our games, executing our pressures or whatever we're trying to do. Yeah. Miles said after the game that uh, they were, he was a little surprised they were throwing on first down. They had shown, shown yeah. that. Uh, then Tyrod didn't come out the second half. Uh, right. I assume you would have caught up to that had he still been in there. Yeah. Adjusting to that. Well, you're always adjusting throughout the game, and that's what we do just in between um, series. Mm -hmm. So you go in based on the game plan or the breakdown, which you looked at, and then you start keeping track to see what they're doing, and you make adjustments. So we were making those adjustments. You know, again, we just left a couple of plays out there. In two games, uh, it doesn't seem like they're picking on the rookie cornerback much. Yeah. Does that surprise you? And is there a reason why they're not thrown out? They they threw some passes at him. Um, he had the one penalty, then he yeah. came back and made the play on a deep ball, which was nice to see. But he's a confident guy. Uh, he plays clean technique. I think each game he's getting better and he's believing in his ability. So I'm sure there's going to be somebody to come out and probably try to throw six or seven balls at him. But I think mentally, uh, physically, athletically, he can handle it. That hit that Brent had on the strip sack, yeah. I don't think you could probably draw that up any better. Yeah. Well, just 
how do you get more of that from him and, and some of your other guys as well? Yeah, it's just just mixing it up. You know, it's timely pressures. You don't want to be so predictable that they know it's coming. So we try to make everything work together, whether it's the looks in zone, man, zone pressure. And then now, once you can get them, when you can control what they're doing based on the look, that's when those pressures come home. And that's what we were able to do on the uh, pressure when Grant sacked the quarterback. These mobile quarterbacks that have given you trouble, what can mm -hmm. you do to, to kind of tamp that down? Because you're going to have more. you got number eight in Baltimore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem. Because the times when you rush four and they have six or seven guys blocking you, there's going to be lanes where he can escape. So you always want to have in your pack, the, your pack is the ability to bring five-man pressure, six-man pressures, or have somebody spy on them. But in order to strengthen yourself in one area, you're going to weaken yourself in another area. So it's just playing that game and having that mixture of what you're trying to do. So how and why are you confident that things will get better as we get more, you know, as your guys get more experience? Oh, it definitely will because within the game, you see it. You know, there's moments where guys execute and we're making plays and we're doing what we're supposed to do, and then you see the inconsistencies. So you're just trying to eliminate those, and then now you're playing at a higher level. So we're doing it. You see it. We just need to do it more often and better. A lot of uh, you know, Justin Fields on tape are kind of broken plays, and yeah. extended plays. Yeah. Um, now that he gets a week of practice with the number one team, do you expect – more designed running plays? You would anticipate that, but that's part of it. Uh, you asked a question earlier about the breakdowns and how things change down the distance wise. Like you go into it based on what you see and what you think they're going to do, but you know you're going to have to adjust during the, during the game. Um, but we'll probably see more of that. Uh, you know, probably trying to get him out on the perimeter a little bit, and we're going to have to plaster in coverage because there's going to be times he's going to scramble. How, how did you think that? Like he got a little frustrated a couple times. Maybe yeah. He was getting pushed off or something like that. That happens. You never worry about that as a DB. That's part of life. Um, there's things he did really well, and there's probably some plays out there he want to have back. And I, lo I watch him move around. Um, I kind of try to stand back a little bit and watch the DBs just to see the things that they're doing. I see him. Uh, he looks stronger. He looks bigger. He looks twitchier. He looks faster. I feel like he's wired in. I just think right now he's probably trying to do too much, right? He's trying to go out and make a play. And when you play DB, you execute your technique and the plays will come. And I talked to him about that. So he just has to settle down and just, just do his job. He's good enough to make plays when he does that. How do you treat the linebacker now without um, Anthony and then probably mm -hmm. this week? Next man up. That man says it's just the life you live. You know, in the NFL, there's, there's going to be injuries week in and week out. Uh, they did a great job just with the personnel here, so I feel good about the guys that are in our backup positions. So they'll be able to step in and do what we need, to, need them to do to win. What does Jeremiah have to do to get more snaps? Uh, it's just a process. Like some of the stuff, you have to protect him from himself. And I said that early on. Like I see all kind of packages and things I can do, but I don't want to do so much that he plays slow. So we're slowly giving him more, and then we definitely design things for him. But uh, I just don't want to put a lot on his plate. It's awesome because he's such a leader. Uh, all the young guys look up to him. Uh, you have that veteran presence, you know, in the huddle where that, you know, exudes confidence for everybody else. So it's been great to have him around for sure. Seeing Grant did what he did for the number of steps mm -hmm. he did, do you feel like now you can kind of do that dime package that you've been really wanting to do? Oh, it's, it's in. Yeah. It's just now you just add him to it. And you saw a little bit of that, uh, but we'll continue to progress and do more things coverage-wise with him in there. How many plays did you have that package in last week? For oh, the total number? Yeah, uh, less than a dozen? Dime. No, it was probably a little bit over that. Yeah, a little bit, because we did it in two minutes as well. Yeah, so might be in the 20, 26, something like that.